Bob, would you do the honors? Sure. I brought Joe Grau, my store manager, and Daylene Prindle, uh, assistant manager, and helps with all of our volunteers at the store. Well, wonderful. Welcome aboard to both of you, all three of you. Uh, Bob, share a little bit about the, the organization and, and what you do. Sure. I'm the director at Options Pregnancy Center. We're there to help uh, women and guys with um, pregnancy-related issues here in the community. We're a nonprofit, and a number of years ago, we recognized a few issues that we had. Um, one, some of our clients uh, needed more than just baby clothes and maternity clothes. They didn't have any furniture, or they didn't have other clothing, sure. pots and pans. And the other thing is we needed a source of income for our nonprofit. Um, so we ended up opening up 12 Baskets Resale. Um, met some of our needs and uh, met some needs in the community. Well, I'm very familiar with 12 Baskets, and as a regular customer, the inventory that you have there is outstanding, and you have a lot of product. How did this come about? Uh, you know, it's, apparently there was a need in the community. We have never advertised for donations. Uh, we opened our doors as soon as people heard we were opening. The donations started showing up at the back door, and um, they just have never stopped. And it's just unbelievable. This time of year, we actually have off-site storage just for some of the extra furniture that comes in at this time of year. Very, very cool. And I see you quite a bit when I'm there. So tell us a little about what, what you do and your position with the company. i um, been the store manager at 12 Baskets now for several years. Okay. Really, and basically, I'm there to oversee the operations, make sure everything runs smoothly. Um, coordinate with Bob a lot. Uh, how many employees? How many people work there? Off and on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Two different questions there. Yeah, absolutely. How many work? We deal with <laughs> um, on-site employees, I'm going to say maybe 10. Okay. That sound right, Bob? Yeah, about 10. Yeah, about 10, but it's a revolving door as far as um, volunteers and other programs where we get assistance from the community and people just looking for something to do with their time that's beneficial and helpful. Okay. gives people a sense of pride um, to contribute. So these are volunteers? Uh, uh, some of them, and then we also deal. Another program that I work closely with is uh, Minnesota Valley, which is NVAC. We have the Senior Workforce Program, which has just been phenomenal, a phenomenal asset for us. Well, when I've been in there, you can tell that people are enjoying themselves. Correct. That, that are involved and, and working in the store. And we, we also deal with the summer youth program, and um, with the youth program, it's kind of interesting. Uh, I try and mentor some of the younger guys because there isn't a lot of help out there for the younger guys. Some sure. of them are just a little bit lost sometimes, and they just need a little guidance. And That's awesome. Then we also deal with the uh, pregnancy program from the center where the girls come in. And uh, since Daylene actually coordinates that program with Bob. Let's go ahead and flip it over to Daylene and let her tell you a little bit about it. Tell that. us. Okay, so the work readiness program is linked mm -hmm. through options. And what I do is I fill out their hire on paperwork and then I basically mentor them, show them a good work ethic, and that way they have a prolonged job history too so that they're not going like that nine month gap without a job. Sure. Do they uh, do, uh, is there a pretty big, uh, in a positive way, is there a big turnover? Do people move on? to other jobs? Do they stay with you quite a while? Uh, what happens with that? Some move on to other jobs. Some sure. stay as home parents. Some are like me and they stay at 12 Baskets. I went through the program myself and ended up where I'm at right now Very thanks cool. to Bob Charnicki. Very Thank cool. you. The big thing with us are regular staff members, extreme loyalty. Uh, they bend over backwards for you and that's that's unusual on a job. Um, and the people that come in through the MVAC program and the youth program, it's always nice when they, I know they're moving on, um, we're the stepping stone. And if something's better out there for them, I love it because then they come back a month later and they're happy to see you and they tell you about their, you know, adventures in the job force on their new jobs. And it's kind of touching, actually. That is awesome. You know? So you all are much more than just what we see when we Absolutely. go into 12 there baskets. Is, there that is, is awesome. a lot more. There is a lot more, but once again, we would not exist with without the merchandise that comes through the back door and the people that willingly 
donate to to sure. us. So speaking of what, what comes in the back door, tell us about some of the product that we could expect to see if you went in 12 baskets. I know that's a big window. I've been in the store. I've seen it all. <laughs> and, and anytime I think I haven't seen it all, I just wait till the next day and something else comes through the back door. <laughs> that's awesome. You never know what's going to walk through that door. We get our general houseware goods, kitchenware goods. Um, we get unique things. And by unique, I mean things that I've never seen. And, and I'm a collector of stuff, but I pride myself and our store on the fact that we have more antiques and collectibles than a vast majority of the local thrift stores in the region. Well, um, common for a lot of thrift stores and antique, or thrift stores mostly, they get high-end antiques or collectibles and they'll either sell them on eBay or they have another outlet at an antique store or something. We want them to be available for local collectors and local dealers. So everything, we'd have no eBay sites or anything, everything gets... So nothing goes to online, right, it's available it's in store. Right, in the store. That's cool, cool. Uh, and if just about any day you come in there, you'll see local collectors and dealers um, sometimes in there two or three times in a day because sure. they know we put all of that merchandise on the sales floor and it makes a difference. Um, those people have also become kind of our friends and they're our teachers. We find, Joe will find something in the back room, have no idea what it is and we'll go ask one of these guys. They can usually give us an answer. Sure. We want to meet the needs of people in the community that have needs. Clothing, basic furniture, pots and pans are all very cheap. You can you can meet your needs and sure. Um, the collectibles and antiques, nobody really needs them, so we let those people actually pay the rent. You know? <laughs> Absolutely. So we charge a little more there, but they can they can cover our costs so that we can give to the community for people that need it. Besides the things we sell, and we sell pretty inexpensive, we give away between five and ten thousand dollars worth of merchandise every year just for families that are in need. So we help them out with everything Very from impressive. clothing to furniture to whatever. And that's something that a lot of people in the community that even donate to us, they don't realize. Um, we give back just as much as we take in. And we try to. Sure. We try and pay it forward. Um, and by doing that, makes the world, in my opinion, a better place. It keeps it revolving. Everything stays in use. There is very little waste. We put things in the right hands. I try to put them in the right hands for people that are going to appreciate them and cherish them. And as Bob was saying on the antiques and collectibles, I know who our local dealers are and collectors and it's always fun for me to see their eyes light up the same as I do when I see something neat and I make sure it gets in their hands one way or the other. Absolutely. Because eventually, kind of like what Bob's saying, eventually in paying it forward you give somebody a deal, they remember you. And by remembering you, in the future something comes back. Sure. One way or the other it always comes back. It's a, it's a revolving door. That's incredible. And, and going in there, like I was saying before, you're always busy. It's well organized. It changes. The inv inventory changes. That's what I've always been so impressed. You know, for someone who goes in there quite a bit, I don't go in there and say, well, this is the same stuff I saw in here a week ago. I, I might go in there three days in a row and say, oh, my gosh, look at all this. This is incredible. They, they have somebody on staff almost every day just moving merchandise out, both on the hard line furniture, the pots and pans, the collectibles, and on the clothing side. So there's always new merchandise going out on the sales floor every day, all day. So it's not like we only fill the shelves on Monday or something. Sure, so, very, very cool. Um, it keeps it going. And then twice a year, at least twice a year, we do massive sales and we just empty the whole store and start over. Wow. So, um, so when anybody comes in and says, well, this has been here forever, I can usually tell them, no, <laughs> this day, the shelves were empty. Absolutely not true. <laughs> right. And, um, these guys handle that and they do a fantastic job. They do a wonderful great job. With you know, we kind of talked a little bit about the hard line. Mm -hmm. um, Daylene is over in the clothing area a lot. And why don't we let her tell, her, tell you a little bit about what she sees? I mean, we see brand name stuff come in. Sure. Go ahead, Daylene. Yep. So we have a section that's green take section. So that's the brand name or the new clothing that comes through. So those are quite affordable as well because we'll have like $78 items come in and they're like ten dollars there wow. so we also have our regular clothing with the regular racks which is a dollar for a top for women's two dollars for men's and the bottoms are two dollars and that's very very affordable as well Bob so also you're catering on, again to all the different 
needs yeah. of the community or Correct. or wants mm -hmm. of the community. Bob also puts on two dollar bag day sales, so I mean, two dollars you fill a whole bag. Sure. Excludes there's, green tags, of course. There's a sale every day. Yeah, so, yeah. pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> yep. So any, and we have like the higher quality because a lot of thrift stores, they kind of put out everything. We actually, if there's any rips, stains, tears, or anything, then those are discard clothes. Keep the clothing, quality up. And a lot of those discard clothes that she's mentioning, um, we do have places that they go to, but oftentimes those get sent overseas or to other missions and such things. So, Bob, tell us how the name came about. Sure, we were looking for a name that would, would describe what we do. Um, 12 baskets, if you're familiar with the biblical story of loaves and fishes, they picked up 12 baskets of leftovers and were able to reuse the leftovers. And that's exactly what we do with 12 baskets. We're, we're picking up leftovers or unused items from our culture, our society, and making sure they get back into, back into use. Oh, perfect. You know, every time I've been in 12 baskets in the last few years, I've seen you there. You know, Joe's actually been there for almost eight years, I believe. Really? Awesome. And he's kind of taken charge in the last eight years, and he's taken over the management. And during that time, we have grown almost 10% every year since these two of these have taken over this Wow, store. congratulations. That's Thank very you. impressive. The atmosphere is always good in there. Yes, it is. Uh, we try and present ourselves in a positive manner. Uh, we know a lot of our local customers, regulars, and even our People that I see for the first time, I try and send them out of there with a smile. If you come in without a smile, you'll leave with one. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Now, if someone wants to donate, how do they go about that process? Really simple. Um, we're located at 210, 212 Downtown Plaza in Fairmont, Minnesota. Um, just go ahead and pull around in the alley behind the store. Um, our hours are actually posted on the door with a list of what we do and don't take. If you have questions, you can always call the store. Um, and I always have people there that can help you unload too. Sure. Um, so if you got something heavy or, or just need an extra hand to help you unload so you can move along quickly, my guys are there. You know, and when I've dropped off, dropped off things before, I've noticed that. There's always somebody right there saying, how much you got, what do you want to bring in? And it's a fast, fast process. And we try and make you smile in the process. <laughs> Absolutely. But, <laughs> but uh, anyway, you know, we also have a Facebook uh, page. Sure. And uh, for additional information, you can always look that up on Facebook. And I'm not a big computer genius, but Bob knows more about it than me, so I'm gonna let him handle this one. What can we expect to see on uh, Facebook, Bob? Sure, what you'll find on Facebook, uh, we don't put a lot on there, but we do keep our, our monthly sales and any special sales that happen to come up during the course of the month. Um, like this past month, we just did an MEA sale that wasn't on our regular calendar, but we decided we needed to move some merchandise and that popped up on there. Uh, we do a silent auction, and we'll post silent auction items on there um, from time to time. Um, and our, our information about our store, our location, our hours are all posted on Facebook. Sure. And uh, um, anytime, basically, there's a special announcement, we'll get it on Facebook. Very cool. Well, I want to thank all three of you for coming in today. Very interesting. And I, even as a regular shopper, learned a lot more about your organization. Thank you all for sharing. And we invite folks to stop by 12 Baskets. I guarantee you'll be impressed.